Hi there, it's Patty Sampson, and today I'm going to show you how to take a lead from a third-party landing, op landing opt-in form to Linda. So we're, we can add it in and have it automatically come into the system. Uh, and so many of you are using your website opt-in landing pages, or maybe you've got like a listing to leads account or some third-party third, third party opt-in landing page system that you want to use. Now, the big key to try to do it automatically without involving Zapier, which is a, another software that can do it, um, that may be able to do it, is to find out whether or not you have the ability to add sources into your landing page. So you need to check with your landing page provider, but my sample today is going to be using my Real Geeks account to show you how to set this up because the only way that LineDesk knows which campaign to turn on is based on the lead source. So you have to have a separate lead source for every one of your different landing pages that you're going to have. So let's say, in my case, I've already set this up. The first thing you want to do is come into LineDesk and determine what the name of that source is going to be. And I would always be really specific. So in this case, I was doing a spec home ad in Scottsdale. So I added in a lead source for Facebook dash Real Geek Spec Home Ad. Now you'll see I have another one up here that says Facebook Form Spec Home Ad because I did another ad to drive them through the Facebook lead gen forms. Now this is a different situation. I'm talking strictly about other so other landing pages and not Facebook related Facebook forms landing forms. So. Um, because that that has been we've gone over that in the past, but I can I can do another video on that one. But right now I'm showing you how to do a third party thing. Now it is really going to depend if that d connection be can be de you know immediately sent into Line Desk based on the fact uh, of whether or not your website software that you're using will allow you to add in a source. Okay, so in the event it does, and I'm going to use my Real Geeks account to show you. Um, you need to first come into your Line Desk account and add in a source specific to your ad. Okay, and it is very, don't just put real geeks and don't just put listing of leads because you're going to, you, you might do three different landing pages that offer three different things. And you certainly don't want to be sending out a buyer campaign to a seller lead, right? So you've got to make sure you've got these ads in here correctly and the, and the source is in here correctly. So you're going to go to settings and just go down here and um, add in a new source. I like to keep all my Facebook ad stuff together, so I usually will put FB at the beginning so I know what this ad is for. Uh, so once that's added in, you want to make sure that you know exactly what it says and maybe you just copy it um, so you've got it because we need to now put the exact lead source into our um, back end, okay? Now, since I'm in Real Geeks, I'm going to show you how to hook up your connection if you don't already have this set up in Real Geeks. But all of our systems, all of your websites, if you're going to dump leads in and if it's already part of the system in Line Desk, especially an API connection, because if you come over here, I'm going back to Line Desk real quick, you want to go, uh, you can get leads into the system two different ways. One is by using the email that they provide with all of these different lead sources. So these are all in here already. Um, these are not API connections, but if you give this email address to these providers, in most cases, it should automatically pull it in, okay? They also have third-party integrations with an API connection in here for some of the lead source providers. So in this case, Real Geeks is in here, so you wanna come in and enable it and grab the API key because you need to get that connected first before this starts to work, right? So um, grab that and I'm going to show you quickly how to get that set up in here. Again, this is only for Real Geeks, but you probably have to do something similar to this with your website company. And if they're not on that API connection, then you're, you'll have to probably send it in a different way via the email or talk to them. You might have to zap it in through Zapier. So the first thing I'm in, I'm back in on my dashboard and I'm back here under the uh, CRM and lead manager tab and I've gone to my settings and now I'm at my third party integrations and I'm going to go to my outgoing leads API. And um, from here, I'm going to visit this and then I'm going to go to configure my destinations. 
and then you want to pick out your site that you have that you're going to do it. Now, when you get in here, I believe if I'm, I believe LionDesk was right here when I came in, and I just went ahead and added in the API key that I grabbed from, because everybody has their own, right? Now I'm back on LionDesk. Everybody has their own, right? So you got to get that and add it in over here and then get it active. So once it's active, it, it knows to send those leads over there. Now we just have to tell um, Real Geeks uh, that I have a new lead coming in. So let's go back out. I'm going to go back out to my edit my website. Let's see. Actually, where am I going here? Um, third party integration. Oh, I'm going to go to customize because the first thing I have to do is add in a um, lead source and I want to add that exact lead source into the system, right? So that when the form, I'm going to tell the form that this is going to be the source. So I'm now at, still in my settings. I'm going to go to customize now and I'm going to go here and add a new lead source, okay? So I've already actually done this before, um, so I'm not going to add it again, but once you get it added, and if you're going to have, you know, anything routed through here, in, then you got to figure out what you want to do. If you're going to route it from here, you're going to route it from LionDesk. If you're not going to route it from here, then you dump it into LionDesk and let LionDesk do the routing if you've got a team. If you don't have a team, then just leave this. But go ahead and add in that exact lead source that you had in LionDesk. So I basically pulled it from the lead source that I already had added, right? Exactly the same way we need to add it, okay? So I'm going to add it. Now it's added. Okay, so, so I can show you it's in here. It's already in here. Custom. So I have it right here. All right, so now I've got it here. Now the next thing is I've got to tell the system when this landing page um, comes in, it needs to be assigned to that particular lead source, right? So I'm going to go down. I'm Now I'm back on my site back end over here, and I'm over on my you know, working on my website, and I'm going down to the very bottom where all my lead capture forms are, and you'll have to create one if you haven't done this yet, but by now you probably have, and just because that's why you're wondering how to get the lead in, right? So if you've already done it, then you need to have, here's the form for that particular ad, and um, I just got my site, by the way, for Real Geek, so I'm still learning this thing myself, but um, because it's so fresh in my mind, <laughs> I can tell you. So, um, now you just come over here to the source, right? And since you've already added that, you need to now pick it out from here. So when someone fills the form out, they'll know that it's assigned to that particular source, correct? Right? So, so we've already picked that out and it's here, right? So just make sure and then whatever you choose to ask or do with your form, obviously. So you've got that part set up. All right. Now back to Lion Desk. Now, that's not the end of it because we still need to tell the system when a lead comes in that it's coming in from Real Geeks and that it's when it comes in from that particular landing page, we want a certain campaign to be turned on. Okay, so I'm going to go into my settings and I have to go to the lead distribution and team settings. And the first thing I need to do is pick out, well, yeah, pick out the, the provider because we're going to assign a campaign to this thing. So I've already got one in here, but I'm going to do it again for you. So you're going to go here to the drop down and you're going to pick out it's coming in from Real Geek. So you'll notice these are all preset in here from all the companies that LionDesk connects with currently, one way or the other. So um, I'm going to go down and pick out Real Geeks. I believe it's all in here uh, alphabetically. So we'll go to Real Geeks, right? And now I need to add a, a routing. Now this is the fun part. If you've already added that source, like I told you to do on the original step, it's going to be in the list in, the list here of all of your sources that you have. So I'm going to pick out the spec home ad, right? And now here's the other part. Before you get this whole thing started, you really need to have a campaign that's going to respond to this thing. I've obviously already set this up. So I've got a campaign specific set up in here. And I basically took another campaign I had, cloned it, uh, and because I'm providing spec homes, I, I, the first few things out of the system is responding to that. So I, that's a whole nother class thing in itself. But you, if you don't know how to do it, I do have videos out there or you can come to me for some training and stuff. But bottom line is you gotta have this part set up first. This is A number one. And if I get hit home again, don't do any ads until you get this campaign set up. You're just wasting money. 
So get everything set up so it's automated. So it automatically text them, it emails, and whatever they ask for, you need to get them that information. Don't just like randomly run an ad and expect people to, to you know, just sit there. If you don't have it set up to go out, you, you, you got to give them what they're asking for. Um, otherwise, you're going to become unreliable and they're never going to click on your stuff again. So get this set up. Um, so I already have it set. I already wrote, wrote it, have it all ready. And not only that, but I'm sending them back to my site every three days from my campaign, right? So they're going to keep going back to my site in the event they never sign up on my website. Because that could be, if they sign up on my website, they'll start getting listings. But if they never sign up over there, like saving a home or something, then I'm going to drive them back. And that's all built into this campaign. Again, another class for another day. But um, so I'm going to pick out buyer because this happens to be a buyer. And then I'm just going to do an individual um, rollout. But if you have a team, this is where you can roll it out here as opposed to doing it in your uh, other account if you've got something. And then just save that lead lead routing. And, and then once it's saved, when the lead comes into the system, let me go back over to my contacts and see, it will automatically turn on the correct campaign and it will also assign the correct source to it in here. So um, let me see if I can load it up here. Um, so that's the key because you have to take that step in order for it to know which lead source it is and you if you do, even if you're not going to turn a campaign on and I know a lot of people don't uh, turn campaigns on necessarily but um, you can see now it's coming in and it knows exactly which one it's coming in from right so well, anytime somebody it comes in it knows immediately to turn on that campaign and let me just take a quick peek at this one and see if it's still on so here's a lead so when it came in automatically this campaign went on automatically, right? So it has already been going out to this particular, and these, these, this many things have already started to go out. So I've already got this set up. It's automatically doing that. So bottom line is you got to get all that stuff set up and then it should run smoothly. And the other thing is if you don't have the ability to have those sources added to your landing page, I would contact your source provider uh, or your, web, your website or your landing page and find out if they can. Uh, the other way to do this might be through Zapier, um, and you could do an email parsing type thing um, if, if they don't have a way to do it. Um, that's another way to do it is through email parsing, and I have a video out on YouTube somewhere on doing that, so you could just Google my name and look that up. But this is how it works. This is how it works. Um, and it does. It works great. Uh, and, um, you know, we ran a little short ad for a while and found out that the market wasn't really hot for what we were doing, but um, we were running it. Now, here's a key. After you stop running the ad, do not turn the campaign off and delete all this. I mean, you could delete the lead distribution if you're not going to run the ad ever again. I would leave it in here. But you never want to get rid of the campaign because these people are on this long-term thing. And in my case, it's a year-plus campaign. It goes out for a couple years. So if you just delete it all out of, out of your system, then the, your leads are going to stop getting the campaign. So let it, let it keep running. Do not turn it off because it'll screw everything up for everybody that's already in there, right? Okay. Hope you get that. Um, anyway, I, I got all kinds of helpful tips. So if you need any additional help, please reach out. You can get us on Facebook at Exposed Agent Digital Marketing. Um, and, uh, or you can email me at patty at exposedagent.com if you need some additional help. We're getting ready to roll out some online courses related to this specifically. Um, for all of you that don't know, I am a broker in Arizona and uh, I'm rolling into a full-time consulting gig here shortly. But uh, love helping people out, and I really do care what you're doing because I've been where you're at, and I'm doing it. You can see. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Good luck with this. Bye-bye.